Hey everybody, here we are down in the uh, command center of the Charlie and Durley Railroad and uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, it's a bit, bit moist down here. We had a, uh, we've been chasing down some uh, piping issues in this place for a while now and uh, a new one just decided to rear its head. We got some copper pipe up here. Let's decide to go on, well, that hole, I made the hole bigger to help train it before I cut it, but, uh, sprung a leak, and, uh, leaked all night, probably. By and, the looks of it? Yeah, by the looks of it. And, uh, there we go, get back in frame. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, by the looks of it, I just happen to have dun, 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 dun. the right pipe to fix this problem, because I actually saw it coming. Uh, I should have been more proactive. Uh, a week ago I could have done it. I didn't. Now we're paying for it. We, uh, we lost a couple of old Tyco, cheap Tyco, uh, engines. But I'm going to see what I can do with those. Maybe use the shells just as dummies. And, uh, we lost some cardboard, uh, a notebook. Really nothing of any importance. I had some electronic bibs and bobbles, uh, get wet uh, some wire and some connectors and stuff uh, my multimeter we'll see how that uh how that pans out but uh nothing really in a, any expense not like we lost like one of the good like walther's train line or mainline trains or like the bachman f7 or anything like that so we're gonna do a little repair on uh some copper pipe today a little plumbing hooray surprise <laughs> Watch, like, subscribe. <laughs> we'll see you at the end when it's all dry. Hello, welcome back to this uh, Charlie and Durley Railroad. And as you can see, um, the table's finally back and the trash can's over there. Um, Durley actually had the brilliant idea to take the room flooding as a positive thing. And we actually reorganized the room a little bit. Uh, the lights are still in the same uh, position, you just can't see them, one in that corner, one in that corner. And uh, as you can see, that table that uh, the camera is actually on is not in that corner anymore. It's actually directly across from this table, and the totes are in the back corner. So just a quick recap here. Um, obviously, as Durley said, you know, the pipe first, but well, I'll tell you the full story really quick. So I came downstairs and I was going to put a train on the way out and mess around with it because I had nothing else better to do at the time. And I hear this hissing sound and I don't know what it was. And I thought it was coming from the pipe that we originally fixed right above the layout. Turns out, as soon as I opened the door, this pipe in that corner that I'm pointing at that you can't see was misting and obviously it ended up flooding the room and within the same day it was raining very hard and it actually came through the coal chute which for those who do not know our house is really old and underneath the porch is a coal chute and there's a hatch on the side of the porch where you would open it and put coal whatever i'm not sure I wasn't alive, I don't know how it works, but all I know is everyone calls it a coal shoot, so I'm assuming you just shove coal into that room. Well anyways, when you didn't need that anymore, whoever had this house previously did not exactly seal it, or they didn't seal it at all. I was going to say they didn't seal it properly, but I don't think they did at all. So every time it rains, water will come through that hatch. And it rained really hard a few days ago here in Illinois. And that ended up with this water and that out there, it basically flooded the whole basement. So when I initially came in here, I was scared because I didn't know what was going to be damaged. For all I knew, my two best engines that are sitting right off camera ruined and wet which electronics and water do not mix thankfully 
like we said earlier and previously, nothing important was damaged. But as Dirley said, we did lose, potentially lost, two Tyco engine. And that is the War Bonnet and the Blue Bonnet. And I don't know if we've even shown you guys that one, but it is not the one that Dirley's father gave me. It is the two that he ordered off of eBay. So, arguably not that much of a loss. Like Dirley said, worst case scenario, just use them as a shell. But still, pretty, pretty upset. I mean, it's not, not that big of a deal, but to have lost anything in this is kind of upsetting. So, Dirley's not here right now. So it's currently Wednesday, the 17th. And he's actually at his job right now. And I just came down here. I literally just got everything back in the room as soon as, like, as I'm saying it, I just sat down. So, he doesn't know this because he's not here. And unfortunately, he won't be here until tomorrow because uh, he has stuff going on after work. But I figured instead of wait, since we already couldn't post a video because of the flood, um, might as well just get this one up so you guys know what's going on and you know why we haven't posted a few videos. Uh, it's mostly because we're lazy, but uh, it's also because of the flood. So, um, yeah, uh, I don't really think there's much else to talk about. But uh, like I said, the only good news is, is everything's fine. Even the carpet, which was soaking wet as you heard Dirley stepping on it, uh, left it out to dry. Um, so far, so good. It doesn't smell like mold or anything, so hopefully it's all going to be fine. And all of this stuff you just saw me bring in was stuff I had to put on the layout because I had no other place to put it. But hopefully... Uh, Another week in this room won't happen, but the unfortunate answer is it's inevitable because this house is old and like like Durley said, you know, if he, he's going to fix one and then it's just going to find, like it's just going to unveil a new problem. Like him fixing that one right there is probably, is probably going to make another one happen, which isn't his fault. It's the house. It's old. There's nothing that can be done about it. It's that redo everything, have someone come in for like $5,000, give or take, maybe even more, a couple grand, who knows? I'm not an expert. Redo all of this, or me and Dirley just redo it patch by patch, and every single time we fix something, we're just gonna end up finding another issue. That's the unfortunate reality of all this, but. Like I said, the good news is everything's fine. Nothing's wet anymore. Everything should be fine. I have to go through a couple things that water got into and try it out for Dirley. And uh, hopefully his loss was much less, but because he, he has a lot, a lot of electrical parts, a lot of important stuff for like maintenance, stuff like that. Uh, that's really beneficial to what we do down here. So hopefully uh, I'm not going to know if it's damaged or not because I don't know what half of it is, but I am going to dry it. And when he comes by tomorrow, maybe he can find out if any of it is actually lost. But we're hoping not. But I think I've dragged this out a little bit too long. If Dirley was here, we would have ended it by now. But So, uh, yeah. Um, now I really don't think there's anything much else to talk about, so... Yeah, I guess just um, just keep coming back. We'll be posting videos. Uh, our schedule is supposed to be Sunday and Thursday, but if we miss them, we apologize. We typically have a reason, but if we don't, we'll come up with an excuse. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's not exactly on an upload schedule, but I figured I might as well get one out. And just a reminder, um, hopefully. After this, if another leak doesn't happen, we should be posting another video. One's most likely not going to be up tomorrow just because of me making this one. But uh, there's a possibility. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I will see you guys next time. And thank you for sticking along with us through what is turning into a very, very difficult path we have chosen. So, with all that being said, have a good rest of your day. Have a good rest of your night. Take care. See you next time.